Cloud C2 on a Wi-Fi pineapple connected via LTE, this time on Hack5. Hey everyone, Glitch here and welcome back to Hack5. A few videos ago, you may have remembered that I got a Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 to connect over LTE using a little USB modem. You can actually see it set up right here behind me on the counter. And that's a really useful tool for, I mean, connecting to a Wi-Fi Pineapple remotely. However, we can take it one step further using the Hack5 Cloud C2 software and get it to automatically send reports back to us and all kinds of cool things that we're going to get into in this video. So stay tuned. One quick note here, if you're looking to get a professional license of Cloud C2, you can get 50% off for the week following this video using code GLITCHC2. It's on screen now and I'll also have it in the description down below. So some prerequisites. As you can see, I'm already in Pineapple C2 here. Uh, this is just an instance I have spun up on DigitalOcean for simplicity's sake, but you could run this on a pineapple. Well, not a pineapple. I guess you could run it on a pineapple, though that'd be kind of redundant. A uh, Raspberry Pi or your own Windows machine or Linux machine at your home or however you want to do it. Uh, you, but you need Cloud C2 setup. You also need to have followed the tutorial on setting up LTE. I'm actually working on improving that so that it can be like a script you run and it also works at boot and all that but we'll get into that later this assumes you've got cloud c2 set up and your pineapple is connected to it uh it really just does just work you don't have to do anything special to get c2 to connect over lte once you've got both c2 and lte set up if that makes sense but we're actually going to be demonstrating how you can use this in the real world let's say hypothetically you're doing a sanctioned uh pin testing engagement and you want to send a pineapple to them and have it just work. You don't want to have to figure out what their Wi-Fi is or get it connected to the network or whatever. You want a pineapple that just works. And this also has advantages on being out of band. You don't need to worry about, you know, an IDS system uh, detecting that you're exfiltrating data over their Wi-Fi because you're not over their Wi-Fi, you're over LTE. Uh, again, this was all purely hypothetical for the purposes of demonstration. So let's switch back over here. The great thing about this is you fully retain access to the pineapple through the Cloud C2 interface. You just start an SSH tunnel, which will partially disable some of the way C2 works, but you can always disable this. And there you go. We have the SSH tunnel set up and that shows us the pineapple uh, terminal but we can also go into the Wi-Fi UI. And now we're, again, we're doing this over LTE. So this pineapple could be clear in a different building, you know, 200 miles away on the opposite side of the country, on the opposite side of the world, assuming you provisioned a correct SIM card for it. And you'll still have access to the complete interface. And I'll show you why this is cool once it loads here. Cool, now we're logged into our pineapple over LTE, a remote LTE connection. How awesome is that? So that lets us go over to campaigns. Now, you can make campaigns which will automatically scan the Wi-Fi environment, look for uh, SSID probes, and all the things a pineapple does. And you can have it send reports to you over uh, email. You know, it's something the pineapple's been able to do basically since the Mark 7 was introduced with its 2.0 firmware. However, you need to have an SMTP server, and if you're not running a big business, you're probably not going to have that set up. And so it just is annoying to get those reports in a traditional sense. Well, with Cloud C2, all we have to do is start a campaign. Uh, derpy campaign, sure. We'll put it in monitor only mode. We'll just keep it, uh, yeah, that's good enough for the purposes of this test. I don't have my uh, five gigahertz AC module plugged in, so we're doing 2.4 only. Uh, that's fine, that's fine enable campaign and report interval and again normally this would send reports to you every 30 minutes via email however with lte uh, we'll do both of these for simplicity's sake now i don't want it to enable email reports i want it to enable cloud c2 and exfiltrate report and that sets up a campaign and here in about half an hour uh, actually i can run now to make this go a little quicker the campaign starting, it's going to run the scan for 30 seconds, I think is what we set it to by default. Uh, and then if we go back over to our Cloud C2, go over here to our home page, and we just sit here and wait, and we'll get a notification when we get some nice new loot. 
And there we go, the campaign has finished. So if we go over to our Cloud C2 and go into the Pineapple and go over to Loot, look at that, Derpy Campaign. We can download that, open that up, and you're going to see a bunch of blurs because this is not information I necessarily want you to see. But it really is as simple as that. We just went and executed a campaign over the Cloud C2 interface via LTE. How cool is that? Like I said, you can set, send this pineapple somewhere. They can plug it in, you know, again, because, of course, this is a san sanctioned engagement. They're, you're going to have someone there helping you out. But you don't need to be reliant on their Wi-Fi, on any of their network infrastructure. It goes completely over LTE. And if you actually go through and set up Cloud C2 using SSL, as in Darren's uh, tutorial, using a Let's Encrypt cert or a company certification, depending on what level you're at, it'll all be encrypted and secure, too, over an out-of-band frequency. So you're, you know, escaping all kinds of IDS and all kinds of other headaches. It just works. It's the coolest thing. Like I said, coming up, I'm working on a script that will actually start at the start of the pineapple. So you don't need to run the uh, setup commands that are still necessary in the LTE video. Uh, it basically just detects when you hot plug the LTE module in and automatically starts up with your pre-configured APN and all that. At some point, I'd really like to set up a UI, a module in the pineapple, so that it's a really clean thing. But... Uh, Software is not my strong suit, so I'm going to work on that later. And like I said at the top, you can get Cloud C2 for 50% off for a week following the upload date of this video using code GLITCHC2. Thank you all for watching. I've been Glitch. This has been Hack5. Glitch out. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.